the causes of all causes descended on our planet. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Whenever religious practices are stopped and there is a rise in your religion, at that time, Krishna himself comes to the material world. To see up the pious and destroy the demons and to reestablish the principle of religion, Krishna comes again and again. Once, when the entire world was overburdened by powerful demons, the world became disturbed. At that time, Mother Earth, known as Bhumi Devi, went to see Lord Brahma to tell him of her troubles. Bhumi assumed the shape of a cow and presented herself before Lord Brahma with tears in her eyes. Oh, great Brahma, creator of the universe, I have come to seek your shelter. Oh, goddess of the earth, I see that you are very anxious. What is the matter? I have become overburdened by the sinful activities of the demons. They disturb the worship of Vishnu by setting fire to the homes of saintly people. They kill cows and rocks. These acts of violence have become unbearable. Please help me. Save me. Oh, Mother Bhumi, please do not become sad. The Supreme Personality of God and Krishna will certainly save us. Krishna is the friend of the distress. Remember how the Lord appeared in various forms to save his devotees? He took the form of Matsya, a giant fish to protect the Vedas. to help the demigods turn the ocean of milk. He took the form of Raha, a wonderful board to save the earth that had sunk to the bottom of the ocean. A half man, half lion, to protect his dear devotee, Pallad Maharaj. He took the form of Ramanadev, a dwarf Brahmana to take the universe back from Bali Maharaj. He took the form of Parshram to kill the demon kings of the earth. Ramachandra to kill the ten-headed demon Ravana. Do you think the Lord will again appear to help us? Let us go to 
the floor of the milk ocean and asked for his help. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, then said that he will soon appear on earth. He will take birth as the son of Vasudeva and Devaki. He will show a beautiful, sweet pastimes of protected devotees and kill the demons. Once upon a time, Vasudeva had just married Devaki and was going home on his chair and he was really wondering what. Kamsa, the brother of David, was on the chair. Suddenly there was a voice from the sky. Kamsa, you're such a fool, you're such a fool. You're driving the chair, not in the chair, not in the chair, not in the chair. You do not know that the eighth child, the eighth child, the eighth child, the eighth child, the eighth child. You are prepared to kill a woman who is your own sister at a time of her marriage. Vasudev, did you hear the voice? It said her child would kill me. Why should you be so afraid of death? O oh, great hero, one who takes his birth is sure to die. But you are not this body. You are an eternal spirit soul. Why should you be so much afraid? Vasudev, is it me or David Kitchen? Four with six opulences entered into Devaki's room. At that time, she was extremely beautiful and affluent. I have never seen Devaki look so effulgent and beautiful before. Surely, Vishnu is in her room. Should I kill her? No. If I kill her, then her reputation will be ruined forever. Yes, my lord. Keep careful watch over Dedeke and let me know as soon as the child is born. Kamsa became full of fear. While sitting, eating, walking, talking, or sleeping, he saw Vishnu everywhere. No! I will kill you! No! What is it? What is it? It's Vishnu! I'll kill him! Where is he, my lord? He's there! Don't you see him? No! He's there! Catch him! Arrest him! Soon the time for Lord Krishna's appearance took place. At that time, the entire universe became beautiful and peaceful. Oh Lord, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the cause of all causes. You have appeared to protect your devotees and to kill Kamsa. My dear Lord, I offer my humble obeisances unto you. You are the source of all incarnations. My Lord, please save us from the cruel hands of Kamsa. I am very much afraid that he will harm you. My dear Deity, Vasudeva, in a previous birth, you had a desire to have me as your son. I am very pleased by your devotion to me. I know that you are very concerned about me and afraid of Kamsa, but please do not be afraid. Kindly take me immediately to the pool and replace me with the bar who has just been born to the show. The doors have opened. The guards are sleeping. Quick, Devaki, give me the child. I must take him to Gokula. My lord, please be careful. Mm-hmm. 
residential nature of Lord Krishna's appearance and activities does not take his birth again in the material world, but returns back home, back to the spiritual world.